Next in 31 Days of Transvisibility, Day 4. Today we talk about transition. I'm reading on here on my screen. I also try not to look here because it freaks me out seeing my face. Um, okay, talk about transition. Not that there's a problem with my face. I have a great face. I really like my face. But when you look at it in selfie mode, it, it just seems weird. Anyway, transition. Do I want to? What kind of progress have I made? How has the process affected my day-to-day -day life? Do I feel my transition is complete? <laughs> so, transition. So, transition includes lots of things. Social transition, that stuff like changing your pronouns. Medical transition, that stuff like taking hormones, having surgeries. Um, there's probably some other transitions I can't remember. Uh... <laughs> Um, do I want to transition? So, this stuff's complicated. I guess, I guess I have transitioned. Um, I have had a top, I've had top surgery. That's no big secret. Um, I was on hormones for a year, several years ago, but it negatively affected my health, so I had to stop hormones. Um, socially transitioning, yeah, that's happened. I use they pronouns and like other gender neutral language when referring to me and uh, I'm out to people. And, you know, transitioning and being out aren't the same because you can transition and some people live stealth. So that's somebody who has, who's tr who's dis who is is male or female they and they were they were assigned a different gender at birth so like if i was a tr if i was a man i would have been assigned female at birth i would have transitioned to male and if i wanted to live stealth that means no ever, nobody would know i was assigned female at birth so um and when you're non-binary that kind of transition isn't there aren't these clear-cut edges. And for a lot of trans people, there's no real end to transitioning. You know, it's it's complicated. So, um, the stuff I've done with transitioning, I feel good about. I don't really want to do other stuff. Um, sometimes I would like to have the ability to use a deeper voice so people will stop calling me ma'am. That would be cool. But I don't really hate my voice either. Uh, so, I don't know. How has the process affected my day-to-day -day life? I, well, I could go shirtless a lot, so that's cool. I like not wearing shirts in the summer, or sometimes even the winter, just all the time. So, sweet. And I have a beard, and so I can go like this. Hmm. 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 So that's pretty great. Um, other than that, it's just you know the the struggle to get people to use the correct pronouns for me. Okay, that was day four.